Crypto.com just crossed over eight cents, everybody. And there's a reason why. Of course, the overall crypto market is looking super strong. But Crypto.com and Kronos, the chain, getting ready to go through some major, major upgrades. And we're going to dive into some of those and what they mean for the future of Kronos in this video. Kronos currently sitting at number 28 by market cap. Love, love, love this community. Love where this crypto project is heading. We, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I love Kronos, real quick before we dive into some of the specifics with this new upgrade that's coming, the name, Crypto.com. It's so simple, right? And when you're not even close to mass adoption yet, think about Crypto.com, the marketing they're doing. People are going to flock to this brand because it's the first thing you see, right? I've talked to so many people that it's the first app they use because it's the first thing that came up on Google when they wanted to buy crypto crypto.com a lot of these exchanges you don't even know they're really doing crypto until you get in the game right until you hop into the market and you understand you know who all the big players are but chronos is back at eight cents we've seen a nice steady rise here especially in the past week we've had a really nice pop here in the last 24 hours love seeing it chronos is flying back up there we've got some gaps to fill too and we can get back up to this 11 cent range i mean look at this big gap uh we could certainly fill this gap that obviously you know this is the ftx crash that happened took us all the way down to five cents however if you bought down in here you know five and a half cents you're looking really really strong or if you just you know hold steady because chronos has been as you guys know all the way up here near 90 cents and a little bit beyond so I want to take you inside a couple different things. This is number one. Crypto.com signs an eight-year agreement to neutralize their district, uh, or excuse me, their direct carbon emissions. So that is one piece of news that just came out early, early this morning. But this is the bigger news coming out of the Kronos Chain Twitter account. And uh, we saw this news dropped uh, pretty much last night. Uh, but, you know, wee hours of the morning, if you will, 1241 a.m., Get ready, CrowFam. The release of Kronos V1.0 Galileo is coming soon. Mark your calendars on the 18th of January. Turn on your notifications to learn more about what's new in V1.0 as we approach the launch date. There will be some downtime. It should be about 60 minutes where the Kronos chain will be down while they do this upgrade. But what does this mean for Kronos? Why is this important, this V1.0 uh, v1.0 Galileo. What exactly is it? Well, let's dive in and find out because this is the Kronos mainnet network set to have a major upgrade here uh, to the Galileo uh, upgrade scheduled for January 18th. Uh, shout out to uh, my sisters. That's their birthday that day. But anyway, major improvements introduced in Kronos V1 are as follows. Okay, mempool prioritization to scale TPS even further. We've got optimized node storage, 30% less storage for full nodes. How about just better node performance, such as gRPC queries, concurrent responses, generalized reduction of node startup time, make it basically more scalable, faster here, and then new Cosmos functionalities to pave the way for greater Cosmos interoperability. So these are some major upgrades. We saw, you know, so many crypto projects last year go through these major upgrades like Cardano uh, and Ethereum. And now it's Kronos's turn to go through a major update that is Galileo. And it looks like it's kind of aimed at the same thing, right? Making things more scalable. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here with Crypto.com this week, especially if crypto continues to rise this week. Kronos back up over $0.08. Cents. Excited about where we're heading. Smash the like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you're a Crow holder down below and how you feel about where we're heading here next. Appreciate you guys so much. And subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you. Bye.